Uh, you have any red pill or? One of the ones I've only talked about very seldomly. I talked about on Mando's channel, Migdal Mando. Um, it's a pretty fucked up one. That's why I usually don't talk about it. Um, so I dated a girl. God, I don't even know where to start. Uh, I dated a girl years ago. Okay, everybody can just look at me and say you're an idiot now. I'm fine with that. But I dated a girl when uh, she was still... She had kids on the way, okay? Um, stupid, stupid mistake. But at that time, it's exactly what you say. She's different and she loves me. <laughs> uh, it, it did. It came down to it. It was like, you know, I was I was going through some stupid crap in my life and I re really wasn't thinking straight. And this one kept hounding me and hounding me, wanted my attention. And eventually I gave in. You know, I think she was looking for a sucker to uh, take care of the kids and whatever. And, you know, I, it is what it is. So I, I made that mistake. And this woman, um, I eventually moved in with her. I was living in an RV at the time and I had no problem with it. Matter of fact, I probably would still be in an RV if it wasn't for all the crap I have. Because <laughs> living in an RV is much simpler. Um, and you can move whenever you want don't like your neighbors, you pack up. But anyway, uh, I eventually moved in with her and it wasn't too long before the crazy started coming out. And at one point I had said to her, I'm like, hey, I, I, don't, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I think I need to get out of here. Mm. Like end it. And uh, this woman proceeds to immediately, with, without warning, to slam her head into the hallway wall, denting the hallway, uh, not just once, repeatedly, uh, and then says, if you try to leave me, I'll say you did this. I shit you not. Ooh, yeah. So... Well, session routine. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. So, um, I, I stayed, because uh, quite frankly, at the time, I had just moved everything in, just settled down, and I'm like... Well, uh, it's going to take me a minute to unfuck this situation. I'm not sure where to start now that that's, that's been put on the table. Uh, so I stayed, and there, there were uh, several signs along the way that th this one was uh, out of her goddamn mind. Um, the, th the two baby daddies and three kids should have given that away, but, but I digress. Um, eventually... We do move up to another spot. You know, it's 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 not as bad. I feel like maybe the crazy left. That was my mistake. Um, and I get a new job, and I'm working a lot of overtime trying to get promoted. You know, doing the whole thing. And uh, I get a call one night, and and she flat out says, uh, "Hey, you know, sobbing. I'm a ter <laughs> this." This is where if if the head in the wall thing wasn't your sign to run, here it is. I'm a terrible person is how she started off this phone call. And I said, what do you mean? You know, what, what, what the hell's going on? She said, well, I uh, took the kids to the babysitter and DHS came and uh, the whole, the whole damn thing. So I said, well, come over to work. Um, I'm still on the clock. Uh, and let's, let's figure this out. You know, it's gotta be some kind of mistake or something. Anyway, uh, they had found injuries on these two kids um oh no and, uh -oh. yeah yeah so dhs and guardian at litem or whatever that's called they all get involved in her psychotic mom if you think she's bad um her mom she had claimed for years pushed her actual biological father to suicide and then was sleeping around with all the other men in the neighborhood so Jesus. lovely bunch that i found there uh anyway so she ends up being charged, and I, like I said, there's several points where I should have run, um, but I didn't. So I stood beside her and said, we'll figure this out, you know, it, maybe it's got to be the babysitter or something happened there. You know, I, again, this is simp mentality, not seeing the red flags that she's willing to injure herself um, and her anger issues, but I digress. So... A few months into this, they finally charge me because I'm living in the home, right? And you're the Even man. though I had no, I had no contact, and at this point, I had um, enough phone calls from the jail when she called me, uh, and statements to police that were contradicting each other. 
to fast forward, I, I did have to fight this for almost two years, and it was a, it was a bad time. Uh, a lot of alcohol involved in that because I'm facing something that, you know, nobody ever wants to face. And, and I'm like, fuck, man, you know, because I'm in the same home, so automatically they're looking at me, and I, I couldn't afford a real attorney, so it was a public defender. She said, look, I see this clear as day. But this is an emotional case. Even though we can say you're not involved, we can uh, ping your cell phone to when you were at work and all of this good stuff, it doesn't matter. They're going to get a jury emotionally charged. You're a man. She's a woman. You're taller. She's shorter. She could have never done this to her own children. And so I recommend you take a deal. Uh, And I said, no, "No, uh, this doesn't have a, well, it it does have a happy ending, but it, it doesn't. So I said, no, absolutely not. Um, that's actually how my number got on the board because I was going through all this. And um, I won't get into details here, but I was uh, tossing a coin in a driveway. And I'll just leave it at that. I understand. Uh, I've been there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So because I'm like, dude, this <laughs> I, I, I'm in the twilight zone. This is absolute nightmare fuel. Um And I'm still defending her. You're not involved. We'll prove this. You know, get a medical professional. Uh, you know, whatever you got to do. And anyway, it comes down to the wire and I'm still like, I'm not taking a deal. Uh, I'll go to trial, whatever. And all of a sudden my keys, by the way, we're both on the lease, not just, not just her. I'm on the lease too. My keys go missing off my nightstand. Uh, and, and, and I, I call her, I say, have you seen the keys? No, 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 no. I find out later she had taken the keys to try to lock me out of my own apartment. Um, and she was, uh, there's more, there's in some infidelity and all sorts of shit wrapped into this. Anyway, uh, promptly after she loses the kids, I need to add this in here. Uh, a grieving mother that she was not went and did a semi-nude photo shoot because she was grieving. And I mean the weekend of her wow. losing her kids. Oh yeah, all the red flags. Um, so anyway, uh she she takes the keys. I figure it out. I go to the office. I'm like, I need a new, new set of keys. This is bullshit. I eventually just say, fuck it, move all my stuff out and part ways. She ended up sleeping with a friend of mine. Um, yeah, so poor guy. I don't know. I don't know if they're still together or not. But uh, um, yeah. yeah, so I go through this process, and then the very last second, she changes her story, and this whole time. She's defended. He wasn't there. He wasn't involved, you know. Um, and then all of a sudden, you know, he, he was involved. He was oh involved because they offered her a, d- a deal. Basically, she was facing the same charges as me. They offered her uh, probation and, and no time whatsoever, a slap on the wrist, and she'd get to walk away <laughs> if she implicated me. So I find out that news, and my attorney says flat out, like, we can impeach her on the stand. That's fine. We have enough evidence to do that. But again, an emotional case, they're not going to believe you. And I've seen she's got years of experience. She's a public defender still. Um, She has years of experience doing this. And she said, oh, I had a female uh, public defender. That didn't help either. But she said flat out, 90% of the time, it doesn't matter. Circumstantial evidence. You living in the home is enough to get you a, a conviction. So Wow. Yeah, so it was that or some lengthy, scary time because, as you know, they stack charges uh, and they add dozens of things to the initial to get you to plead out. Um, that's how corrupt the system system is. So I went ahead, ahead and, uh, against my better judgment, I, I did take the plea on it. Um, I regret it to this day. However... My life has improved since then. Uh, I got my shit on track, uh, and I overcame that. But, yeah, I wanted to take it to trial so damn bad, but she scared the shit out of me. So I wound up doing, you know, some probation. I got to do daycare, uh, summer camp, as I call it. You know, you go in at night, and you get out, and you go to work, and you go back. That whole thing, I did that for six months. Wow. And that was it. But she got... A slap on the wrist, like a couple years probation, no work release, no jail time, nothing, and got her kids back. So that part probably Whatever pisses me off the most. Whatever I don't know. Happened. I stopped keeping track a while ago. Um, I, I imagine she's not having the best of of, of lives, but uh, well, not my problem anymore. 
One can only yeah, that's a cutaway pop. You don't even want to know what that went. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So oh, I, I that's, just, that's my nightmare. <laughs> like, I'm a firm believer in karma, you know, and I'm just waiting for the day I hear the rumor that my ex-wife is a glory hole attendant. But it just hasn't mm-hmm. happened yet. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Caser box.